movement is 20 mm below HP lying on VP and 30 mm in front or behind or from LPP draw its projections and name the side view. A point is below HP lying on VP. Now the condition is lying on VP below HP. So since it is lying on VP, so we cannot consider, we will not be able to identify either which is in quadrant. Now if we, you consider, consider this below HP. So below HP means we are going to consider the conditions which are to be in below HP. So below HP condition we are going to get in third quadrant as well as the fourth quadrant. Now we are going to consider the problem in third quadrant. So when it is below HP lying on VP, so when you look and behind or from LPP. So now here you have the left profile plane, you have VP and you have HP. So here when you look from the front view, since it is uh, lying on VP, so obviously you can consider behind VP for the third quadrant. So behind VP means it should be obviously you have to look from the left side view. Now when you look from the front view, we can see the distance below HP. So the below HP distance can be seen in V vertical plane. You can see that there is P dash. Then when it is lying on VP, so obviously when it is lying on VHP, lying on VP means it will go into rest on HP. So, so since it is lying on VP, the image will go into be on the HP. So we can see that the when you look from the top view, it will go into lie on the horizontal plane. Then he says that 30 mm behind LPP. So 30 mm behind LPP is seen in VP, which is here. And also when you look from the top view, it will be seen in HP. So you're going to get 30 mm. But when you look from the left side view, we can see the distances of below HP and also on VP. So you're going to get this point here. So that means you can look, you can see the distances of front view and as well as in this uh, top view when you look from the profile view. Now we're going to cut it here and then open it HP to the top and LP to the left of vertical plane. So we're going to get this like this. So here also, if you see that the corresponding points is also being get rotated, it is lying on VP. So obviously it should be on HP. So it will be on X, Y, and in the top view. So this point will going to become, become small p. The distances with respect to the profile plane that is behind LPP, that is this distance of 30 mm, which is that this is distance which sees in VP and as well as in HP. So that is the distance which you're going to see in VP and as well as in the HP. So when you look from the side view, both uh, P dash and P double dash will go to be in the same line. And that means when you look from the left side view, we can see the distance below HP. So that is the front view distance and also it is lying on VP. So obviously we're going to get the top view distance here. That is this point. Now when it is rotated, so HP will going to be gone, uh, which will be rotated above by 90 degrees and LPP will be rotated at 90 degrees to anti-clockwise direction. Then LVP and LPP both will going to be in the same plane. Now the distance with respect to the profile plane is seen in VP. So that distance is this VP and also on HP. So that is this distance HP. Then when you look from the front view, 20 mm below HP is seen in vertical plane. You can see the vertical plane is here. So from this point, you measure the distance of 20 mm, uh, 20 mm and you mark this point. So this will going to become P dash. Then uh, the distance is lying on VP. So obviously it should be on HP. So we're going to get it on XY line. You mark this as P. And when you look from the left side view, we can see the distance below HP and also it is on VP. So obviously you're going to get this point on this. So that means here we can see the distance of both front view and as well as the top view. Now we are going to analyze this problem in the sketchbook. So first we are going to draw the XY line and X1, Y1 line. Then mark HP above XY line, VP below XY line and LPP to the left of the vertical plane. Then the, he says the distance uh, with respect to the profile plane that is behind LPP distance of 30 mm is seen in VP and also in HP. So then from here you measure 30 mm and from here also you measure 30 mm and draw a vertical projector. 20 mm below HP can be seen in VP. So that means VP is below XY line. From XY line measure the distance of 20 mm and you mark this point which will going to become small p dash. Then laying on VP, so obviously it should be on HP. So it will be on XY line in the top view. 
So that is this distance, this point P. Then when you look from this upside view, we can see the distances of front view and as well as in the top view. So first we are going to take up the left profile plane. Now draw a um, horizontal projector from P to the XY line. And then draw a vertical projector from P dash, sorry, draw a horizontal projector from P dash to the profile plane. And so then you, from here, you by using the protractor, you measure an angle of 45 degree with respect to the XY and draw an inclined thin line. Then draw a horizontal projector from P to the XY line, that is to the origin. And then from this point, you draw a vertical projector so that both will go into intersect at this point. So you are considering front view distance, top view distance and as well as the front view distance. So thereby, you are going to get this point P double dash. Since we are looking from the left side view, that is because behind behind VP means behind LPP. So obviously, you should be on the left side. So the image what you are going to get here is left side view. Now, we are going to consider the same problem with respect to the horizontal, with respect to the third, fourth quadrant. So in the fourth quadrant, this is zero, this is uh, zero degree, and this is 270 degrees. So obviously, the point should be on VP. The point will be on the third quadrant, fourth quadrant. So when you look from the front view, so here it is below HP in front of VP. Since it is in front of VP, so obviously it should be in front of LPP. So that means you have to get the right side view. Now we're going to check. So first we'll look from the front view. We can see the distance below HP, which is uh, 20 mm. The image will go to be found on vertical plane. And when you look from the top view, the point P will be on HP. So the point P will be on VP, so obviously it will be on HP. So that point will go to become P. Now we are looking from the right side view. When you look from the front right side view, we can see the distance below HP, that is the front view distance. And also, when you look from the top view, we can see the distance of 30 mm. So which will go to be the uh, distance which is on uh, the vertical plane, uh, which will be the distance with respect to the profile plane. Now when you look from the top view, we can just the point P will go to be on HP sorry, on VP, so obviously that point will be on HP. So, when you look from the right side view, we can see the distances of um, both the front view and also on the top view. Now, we will going to cut at this point and then you rotate HP down and LPP to the left side. So, this will going to be the corresponding sketch. So, wherein we can see the distance behind LPP can be seen in, sorry, in front of LPP can be seen in the vertical plane and also in the horizontal plane since VP and HP are coinciding. So you measure the distance from this line to the 30, 30 mm here and then draw a vertical projector. So the distance below HP can be seen in VP. So obviously that point is going to P and the distance with respect to the profile plane is 30 mm can be seen in VP and also on HP. So you're going to get this point directly. So then the point P is on VP, so obviously that point should be on HP, so we're going to get this point small p. Then when you draw a horizontal projector and also from horizontal projection from B dash, both will going to come on this. So here, when you bring it down, so the both will going to intersect at this, so we're going to get P double dash, where you have the front view. On that line, we're going to get the side view. Since it is in front of VP, so obviously this should be the right side view. Then now we are going to try, the, try to solve this problem in a uh, sketchbook. First we are going to draw an XY line and the X1, Y1 line. You mark the points XY and X1, Y1. And similarly you mark the vertical plane and the horizontal plane which is being rotated in the right of the XY line and X1, Y1 line. Then draw a, by using the protractor, you measure an angle of 45 degree and draw an inclined line adjacent to HP. So the distance with respect to the profile plane of 30 mm, which is uh, in front of LPP, can be seen in VP and as well as on HP. So you can measure X1, Y1 line from X1, Y1 line, measure 30 mm, draw a vertical projector. Since the point P is below HP, it can be seen in VP. So since VP is a below X1 line, so you're going to get this point P dash. Then point P is on VP. So obviously that point will be on HP. So we can see both the distances in the profile view. So, so first we are going to draw a vertical horizontal projector from P to the XY line, where it is going to start with the 45 degree line, which is the origin. Then instead of drawing an order, now we are going to try to solve the problem in the sketchbook. 
First, we are going to draw the x y line and x one y one line. Mark x y and x one y one, and mark v p h p below x y line and l p p left to the vertical plane. Then, the distance with respect to the profile plane that is 30 mm behind or uh, in front of r p p can be seen in v p and as well as on h p. Both will going to be below x y line. So, draw a vertical projector here, which is a thin line. The point is below HP can be seen in VP. So the, obviously this point from XYLM you measure the distance of 20 mm, and you mark this point which is going to be P dash. Then it is uh, lying on VP. So obviously that point will going to be on HP. So that means this point will be below XY line. So you're going to get this point and mark this point as P. And to draw the profile view, in the profile view what happens is if you look from the right side view because it is in front of VP. So obviously In front of LPP, so we can see the distance below HP. That is the front view distance, and we can also see the point which is on VP. So obviously that point is on HP. So we're going to get it on HP. So since we can see both the distances in the front view and both the distances of front view and top view in the profile view, so from the origin point you draw by using the protector you measure an angle of 45 degree with respect to the XY line, and then draw an inclined line. Then draw a horizontal projector from P to the origin, and then from this point you draw a vertical projector, so that you draw a horizontal projector from P dash to the x one y one line. So both will going to intersect at this point. You are going to mark this point as P double dash. So since we are looking from the in front of in front of L P P, so obviously this point will going to be the right side view. So When you try to look at these problems, so in the first case also, and when you take it in the third quadrant, or when you take it in the fourth quadrant, both will going to have the same solution, but except that, but except that, you will be able to get in the fourth quadrant it will be the right side view, in the third quadrant it will going to be the left side view. In such a case, what we can do is first we are going to write the solution in the third quadrant, and then you say the point P lies in third as well as in the fourth quadrant, except that in the side view, in the third quadrant, the image what you are going to get is the left side view. In the fourth quadrant, the image what we are going to get is the right side view. So this is the this is going to be the final solution.